but then like you mentioned when you were talking um so sometimes you want to like go back and you mm -hmm. call back and all of that what sort of challenges were you coming coming up against um wow just read the blogs <laughs> you know what i go through but that, that's, that, everyone goes through that though everyone <laughs> goes through that you know before i came back people are just like man nigeria needs the next beyonce they need the next rihanna mm -hmm. goodness we need the shakira mm -hmm. so you know i come and they're like oh no 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 no, no. you gotta cover up what is she doing mm. what is that video oh my god it looks too much like rihanna oh mm -hmm. so it's just like you know for especially because i wasn't really that prepared and then just to have all of that just to have um i coming from you know la mm. things are were a little bit more structured here i could just get a call like two hours before a show tiwa come and perform here mm. and it's just like i don't have anything call a stylist bring mm. something the zip breaks just before i go on stage i go on stage people don't really know what i went through mm -hmm. I'm like struggling to hold my dress up, the mm -hmm. mic isn't working, and then people are like, eh, Timo Savage sucks, that performance was this, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, no, it wasn't my fault. So it was just, it's just the adjustment, mm -hmm. knowing what I can do, and, and how much I've, I've put into my career, my, my voice, my craft, and mm -hmm. sometimes when it doesn't come out right, um, you know, obviously our infrastructure in Nigeria, different mm -hmm. things, people not being ready for what I was really coming with. Sometimes I'm just like, maybe, maybe I should just go back and, hmm. and do it there. But I thank God that, you know, I stayed. No, we are definitely yeah. glad you stayed. We are definitely <laughs> glad God. you stayed. But I, I want to jump right into the controversy part now. Let's talk about the love me, love me, love me video. <laughs> now, there's some things I want to talk about in that video. First of all, I, I, I won't even get to the guy. Let's, let's, I, I want to reserve him for later and possibly maybe even a private conversation between you He's and I. Him, by the way. Uh, okay, the later. <laughs> no, okay. No, seriously though. Like, you know, you saw the comments, the yeah. video, like, oh my God, what is she wearing? She's not covering up. Mm -hmm. but what, are, what is your personal take on that? Like, honestly, you know what? I think, because I, 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 I did my video in LA. Mm-hmm. People, people walk around half naked in LA. Mm -hmm. So on the set, when they brought the things, it wasn't out of place. It was just like, oh, you know, okay, this is cool. And it, it was, it, it wasn't supposed to be like a sexual video. The, the jacket was actually handmade by the, the stylist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's something that, you know, was like fashionable, was edgy. And it was just like, there was a bedroom scene mm -hmm. and you know it's a video so you know you want it to be glamorous mm -hmm. you're not gonna i mean i probably wouldn't wear that at home mm -hmm. but it's a video so i have to exaggerate some mm -hmm. things you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. if i was just in my bedroom i'd probably just wear like long pajama mm -hmm. you know tr you know thing but if i wore that in a video they'd be like come on like mm -hmm. what is she doing so you know different things um that i had to put in and when the video came out and people were just like oh my goodness she's half naked what is she doing she might as well just walk the streets with no clothes and you know i read some of the comments um but i i don't know it's not stopping the money coming in my pocket <laughs> which is the, the bottom line right on these things usually yeah <laughs> but i do you know i do take it i do take it to heart because i you know, I, and I'm now more cautious. I don't want to seem like, oh, I don't listen to what people say. I mm -hmm. just do me. Some artists are like that, but I do realize that now, as much as I want to say that I'm not a role model, I, I, I'm starting to realize that I am. Mm -hmm. And I also have to still realize the culture I'm in. Mm. Things I might be able to get away with in LA, you know, doesn't really quite fly mm. in Nigeria. Even though people are saying they're ready for it, mm -hmm. You know, I don't think they're quite ready to for me to just jump in. I mm -hmm. think it has to be a gradual step. Yeah, I think And so I went too. back and I looked at, you know, people like Rihanna and Beyonce. You know, Rihanna didn't just start being sexy. She mm -hmm. started out as a girl next door. And then it was, you know, a mm -hmm. gradual thing. You know, Lady Gaga too was mm -hmm. a gradual thing. So for Tiwa Savage, I think it has to be a gradual step for me, not just going straight on fully into it. So I do take the comments to heart and I do, I do take criticism well. But, but how do you cope with it though? Because me, I'm just, you know, the back end of the site, I'm like, ah, oh, well, you, uh, you know, but then I, I can't imagine like reading some of the things about myself. So like, how, how do you cope with that? How do you, how do you bounce back after those kind of comments? Um, 
I try to focus on the positive ones. Okay. You know, sometimes you you read like ten good ones and then there's one bad one, but then it just sticks mm, to you and so you just like, I want to go on Bella and I jam. Just come in. And <laughs> this is to us, Abby. Actually, what really happened was, you know, but I focus on the good ones. And you know what happened was when I first started, I would go back and read the comments and like. 99.9 would be like, oh, she's great, she's what we need, blah, 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 blah. And then slowly, you know, mm. the hating comments started like creeping in. And mm. I'm like, okay, I must be doing something right. Because at, at one mm. point, it was just like, man, everybody really, I was walking around like, you know, I'm Tiwa Savage. Yeah. Every, everybody loves me. Like, yeah, exactly. Forget ice everybody loves Tiwa, Tiwa Savage. Savage. Yeah, exactly. But um, <laughs> you know, when the comments started coming in, the reality like was just like, okay so people are really paying attention so um i really really i focus on the good ones mm -hmm. and the bad ones i i if it's if it's something useful i take it into consideration if someone's just like i don't like to savage i think that dress is hideous what was she thinking mm -hmm. then you know obviously i just brush it okay well, one of the other comments we, we got especially on bellanigeria.com was the beyonce resemblance almost <laughs> You know, with the hair, mm -hmm. the popping, mm -hmm. like so. Uh, how you know is 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 that something that is on purpose, or is it because it's fashionable, mm -hmm. or I mean, you know, how how would you respond to something like that? It's funny because my favorite artist is actually Brandy. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, that's, <laughs> okay. So right. you know, okay. a lot of people even when they hear me sing, they tell me like they can hear that. Actually, I've, that is I've true. Studied her a lot. Yeah, that is true. Um, but you know what? I I'm good. Like if they say that I'm trying to be like Beyonce she's the biggest selling female artist right now mm -hmm. I'm not complaining and honestly all artists emulate someone mm. Michael Jackson if you look at his interviews he said he used to try and be like James Brown oh, wow, okay. Beyonce talks about Tina Turner mm. you know Brandy that. talks about Whitney Houston mm. everybody like there's nothing new under the sun so everybody has somebody that they're looking to mm -hmm. and not necessarily trying to be like but you know they're studying. Mm -hmm. um, Beyonce is definitely one person, um, but she's probably not. You know the only Beyonce. I, I study Beyonce. I study Fela a lot. Mm. Um, that's probably why I take off my shoes actually because mm, yeah. these girls never <laughs> wear shoes. So I mean, if they're comparing me to the likes of Beyonce and Rihanna, you know, I, that's or if they're saying I'm trying to be like that, mm -hmm. uh, that means I'm trying to be like the best there is in the market, okay. and I think that's actually a great thing. Okay. All right, so I, I want I want to talk about the part that I really like, which is the the men. Yeah. <laughs> which is the men? So please, who is the guy in the video? Like, how can we get his details? Like, how do I meet his mom? No, no I'm joking. He's, no, no, he's who is he? my boyfriend. Kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, I've just been coveting her man right here. Okay, no, seriously. He's um. He's actually just a model um, okay. from LA, um, okay. so I, I got to set, and he's really tall, um, and um, his girlfriend was actually on set. Okay, so nice. that's a bit uncomfortable. Yes, but, okay. You know, like, in the bedroom scene, I was really like, because I was really shy. Like there was like twenty people in the room, cameras, mm -hmm. and like Shesson would be like, "All right, cut, Tyson, kiss her neck," and I'm just like. Oh my god, so they were like, no, why, you why, are you, be, why are you, sh I don't, why? Listen, you, you <laughs> would be if there's like 20 people watching okay, that's you, true. and that's they're true. like, you know, and then he, Chesson brought some music, like, you know, trying to change the mood, mm -hmm. and then he whispered to Tyson, like, you know, try and make her comfortable, so Tyson's like, so, I've never been with an African woman before, how is that? And I'm looking at him like, Chesson's like, that's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> cause <Yeah>. again. <laughs> I was really, really shy because he's really good looking mm -hmm. and he was, he was really good, you know, in the video. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Within yeah. context, yeah. guys. <laughs> Within context. Yeah, yes. Um, so, but yeah, it was, it was quite an experience. Okay, but, okay. Are you seeing anyone now? <clears throat> like, honestly, like, are you, are you in a relationship? Wow. I promise I won't tell anyone if you mm -hmm. tell me. Mm. I don't want to give you the cliche answer, like I'm dating music, blah, blah, mm. blah. Um, I don't know. Wumi, can I say who I'm dating? <laughs> okay, my but she PR, can say she is dating someone. My PR says no. Wumi, please leave here. No. Yeah, <laughs> this, Seriously. this reality thing, um, what is it? The flavor of love? Yeah. Okay. Tour of love. 
two are finding love. We're going to do that. And it's going to be sponsored by BellaNigra.com. You heard it here first. <laughs> right here. I remember I said sponsored. It <laughs> money. Okay, we'll talk about that <laughs> later. So, no, no, seriously. Okay, maybe you can tell us, but are you in a relationship? Are you thinking about being in a relationship? I'm always thinking. And um, I'll just say that right now I'm in a happy medium. Alright, okay. So Are you clearly, in a relationship? Okay, clearly you've done some PR, <laughs> PR classes. Uh, okay, uncomfortable moments, changing. <laughs> Back to, I'm the one asking questions here.